Hi, my name is Paige and I'm going to be your nurse today. Hi. So I'm going to ask you just a few questions right now. Okay. Have you had any change in appetite? No. Any change in your weight? No. Have you had difficulty swallowing? No, no difficulties. Are there any foods that you cannot eat due to allergies? No. Have you had any recent abdominal pain? No. Any nausea or vomiting? No nausea or vomiting. How often do you have bowel movements? I'd say probably like once a day. Okay, can you explain their color and consistency? Um, they're pretty normal. Um, regular, they're brown usually, solid, nothing abnormal. Okay, have you experienced any diarrhea or constipation? No. Have, do you have a history of gastrointestinal problems such as ulcer, gallbladder disease, hepatitis, jaundice, appendicitis, colitis, hernias? When I was 13, I had an appendicitis and they removed it. Okay, have you had any other operations to the abdomen? No. And have you had any history of x-rays? No. Uh, what medications are you currently taking? I'm not taking any medications right now. Okay, and um, how much would you say you drink alcohol? I don't drink. Okay, and do you smoke? No. Okay, now I'd like to ask you about your diet. Can you tell me all the foods you ate yesterday starting with your breakfast? For breakfast, I ate um, one of the Greek yogurts with some granola. Uh, lunch, I had like a, a chicken quesadilla, and then dinner time, I had a salad. Okay, would you consider that a normal? Yeah, that that's pretty normal. Yeah. Okay, so you would say you eat healthy, unhealthy. Um, I usually try to eat healthy. Um, sometimes I'll occasionally splurge on like fast food or something, maybe like once a week. But other than that, I really try to, you know, eat my fruits and vegetables and stuff. All right, okay, that's it with questions. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with inspection. So I'm gonna look at the patient's contour and look for symmetry, and hers is flat. I'm also gonna look, look at the umbilicus, which is midline and symmetrical. I'm looking for aortic pulsations. And then I'm also assessing the skin. So I'm looking for any lesions, any scars, any obvious bulging or distension or ascites. So next I'm going to do auscultation. So I'm going to take the diaphragm of the stethoscope and I'm going to listen to bowel sounds in all four quadrants. I'm starting with the lower right hand quadrant and moving clockwise. And normally you would listen for 15 seconds in each quadrant. And she has normal active bowel sounds in all four quadrants. So next I'm going to take the bell of the stethoscope and I'm listening for aortic bruise and also renal and um, fem femoral bruise. And she has no bruise. All right, so I'm gonna do percussion now. We're just gonna first assess for a general tympani in all four quadrants of your abdomen. Okay. So I'm gonna place my middle finger and just tap on it. Just make sure that there's tympani. Just in a circular motion. Yeah, all four quadrants have tympani. And then I'm gonna go ahead and map the boundaries of your liver. So I'm gonna start up here um, and in the intercostal spaces, I'm gonna percuss. Um, so I'm going to hear your lungs at first, so there, there should be resonance. And then when I start reaching dullness along the midclavicular line, that's where your liver starts. So that should be about the fifth intercostal space. So what I'll do is I'll just make a mark here with a, a marker or something. And then I'll start from the bottom and I'll go up. So I should be hearing tympani here in your stomach along the midclavicular line. And then when I get to a dull spot, it's going to be where your liver starts, so I'll make a mark there and then I'll just take something to measure it and it should be between 6 and 12 centimeters for the normal size of a liver and females it's usually on the smaller side. Um, and then I'm going to just percuss for your spleen, so that should be um, usually between the 9th and 11th intercostal space. So I'll just go near the bottom of her ribs and I'll just uh, percuss again here. And when I hit a dull note, that's where her spleen would be, so I hear it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just palpate your abdomen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do um, light first. So I'll take one hand and I'll just um, go in circular motions 
like one to two centimeters just to assess. Tell me if there's any tenderness that you feel. Okay, no, none. Doesn't okay. hurt at all. And if she had mentioned any tenderness, I would just, um, for now, since I'm moving on to deep palpation with two hands, and it's um, going to be a little firmer, so if she had mentioned any tenderness, I would just go ahead and do that part last for the deep palpation, but she didn't, so I can just go ahead and do this. Just go in a circle around and make sure you get all the quadrants. I'm assessing for any bulges or masses or um, organomegaly. And everything feels normal. There's no... No, no masses or bulges. So now I'm going to assess for different organs, um, their sizes and any pain or tenderness at the organs. So I'm going to assess for the liver. I'm going to push down on the r underneath the ribs right here and I'm going to ask the patient to take a deep breath. Can you take a deep breath? So I can feel a little bit further. Some livers are palpable and others aren't. Um, normally they're not, you, you can't really feel them. So in hers, I cannot feel. I'm also going to assess for the spleen. And I'm going to push down here and feel on the back. Any pain or tenderness? No. No pain or tenderness. There's also different tests um, that you can do to assess for appendicitis in the gallbladder. The first, um, the first one is called rebound tenderness, and this is the Blumberg sign. And this, you want to, this test you want to perform at the end of the um, assessment because it, can, can, it, because it can cause the patient some pain. So I'm going to push down on the patient and I'm going to release quickly. Any pain or tenderness? No. No pain or tenderness? So the next test is called Murphy's test and this one um, shows the inflammation of the gallbladder. So I'm going to um, feel underneath right by her liver and I'm going to have her breathe in. And if there's any pain, any pain? No. No pain. So she's clear of that. Um, and then the, another one is called the iliopsoas test, and this is where you lift the patient's leg, mm -hmm. and you're going to push down the anterior thigh and ask them to resist you. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay. And the last one is called the obturator um, sign, and this one also tests for appendicitis, where you bring the leg in and out, and you push down. Any pain or tenderness? No. Okay. So those are the tests that you do for the abdomen.